Chipmunk, 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 chipmunk. I had to say something, folks, because there's a three-second audio delay start, and I didn't want to say anything really important, so I just threw that there. Uh, you guys are here because of that three-second audio delay, and you want to learn on how to get rid of it. It looks like Microsoft, as far as I have seen, brought this problem into Windows, and I don't know if they brought it in to save hardware, they brought it in to save power, but it's an extremely annoying problem that I wish Microsoft would give you the option to turn off or on. I went into power settings inside of Windows, there was no such setting to turn it off. You'd think if you're in high performance mode it wouldn't exist, but it does. So the only way that I found to turn it off is by going into the registry area of the computer and turning it off that way. So in this video folks, I'm going to teach you guys on how to disable the 3 second audio delay start on Windows 10. So, first thing you guys are going to want to do is migrate down to the description box below and you're going to find this website right here. So once you guys are here, you're going to want to copy this whole entire line right here up to the ending close bracket and you're going to copy this. Now we're going to want to head into our registry and we're going to want to paste that. Now you've heard probably the registry is one of the most dangerous places you can go. That is correct, so make sure not to mess with anything other than what we're going to mess with. So you're going to hit paste, you're going to hit enter, and this is going to take you to all of the audio devices on your computer. That includes mics, that includes headphones, it pretty much includes everything in and out of your computer for sound. So the reason why uh, we couldn't copy the whole entire thing is because audio devices don't have a set home on all these particular things. So what I mean by that is in my particular case, if you take a look, uh, my NVIDIA driver is on 0005, but if I went to a different computer with this particular card and plugged it into another computer, it could be on 001 for example. These particular locations are not concreted, so you're gonna have to find the audio device that matches your computer that you're currently using. So in some cases, let's say I was actually not using my NVIDIA driver, I was using uh, my built-in audio on my motherboard. In that particular case, I'd be going to zero. Again, yours could be in a different location in somewhere in here. And I would be doing the configuration the exact same way, but on line zero. Again, my, I'm not using this particular audio device through the motherboard, I'm using the NVIDIA. So I'm configuring 0005. So you're going to want to come down to power settings and you're going to want to configure these particular lines here. Now I've already have, but yours are going to say something different. So you're going to want to set these to FFF. Make sure to delete fully what is there currently. So for example, I'm going to do that. And you're, again, you're going to hit FFFFFF. And then you got to do it again. You need four of them. You're going to do the same thing, you're going to delete out everything and you're going to put 0000, hit OK. For performance, again, FFFF. What this exactly does is tells the audio driver inside of Windows 10, hey, do not turn off, stay on. And basically, you're going to exit out of registry, restart your computer, and your driver issue is completely fixed. Again, folks, if you're on NVIDIA, or sorry, not in the video. If you're on AMD, please let me know if this video was helpful to you folks, if you're having that problem. Because again, according to these forms here, this is only an NVIDIA issue and a built-in audio issue when it comes to Windows 10. Speaking of Windows 10, if you do a Windows 10 update, you will unfortunately have to do this again because Windows 10 will change the registry back. It's annoying, I don't know why Microsoft has caused this problem inside of Windows. When I update it to a current version of Windows, this is where this problem started. And it doesn't matter if I'm on a different motherboard or a different NVIDIA card, I keep having this problem every single time. So if you guys enjoyed the video for today, let me know down in the comment box below. Let me know if this video helped you, if it didn't. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content that you may think could help you in your computer ways of making your computer run better. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video for today and we'll see you guys in the next one.